Morning everybody, it's uh, Will and Christian again. We're doing our first uh, true snow winter hike. We're hiking the uh, Flat Rock Trail here. It starts at uh, Colonel Denning, goes up about three miles up the mountain, and then uh, goes to a nice overlook, and then we'll just turn around and come back. Um, it actually joins up with the uh, the Tuscarora Trail at one point, I believe. So uh, we'll see how this goes. Um, we don't have snowshoes. We do have our poles, <laughs> and we're carrying uh, light day packs today with our lunches and stuff. Christian looks so happy. <laughs> All right, so we'll get started. A little out of breath. We just uh, finished our first ascent up with that. It shoots pretty much straight up with the snow. Um, there's hardly any traction. So it's a good thing we have our poles with us. Um, shooting up that way. Still goes pretty straight up. And then eventually it'll break into a smaller actual hiking trail. Um, looks like a few people have uh, gone up before us. And from the prints, it kind of doesn't look like uh, doesn't look like they use snowshoes. So um, we're gonna once I catch get my heart rate down a little bit, catch my breath a little bit, we'll uh, continue on. Yep. Even though it's kind of cold today, I think right now temperature's probably around 20, 22, because we're kind of exerting ourselves. Uh, each of us are uh, going to lose a layer here, um, try to keep the heat build up from going too crazy. Um, once we get up to a level area where where the climbs aren't so bad, then we'll probably put the layer back on. Um, but you don't want to get too hot when you're doing this kind of stuff in this weather. And uh, so we're kind of making our adjustments that we need to do. Um, one interesting thing, it is cold enough that the uh, the water in my uh, my drinking tube here is starting to freeze up a little bit. Um, if we plan on doing many many of these uh, winter hikes, might have to look at coming up with a way to insulate those. So I'm gonna lose my layer, and uh, we'll keep going. Still ascending. Um, decided to take a little break to cool down here a little bit. Um, although you do want to shed layers um, as you get warmer, uh, you also need to think about just stopping and taking a break and letting uh, letting yourself cool down. That way you don't shed too many layers and uh, end up pan pan for it later. So this trail is going to be interesting going back down. <laughs> um, it's a good thing we have our poles because it's little baby steps and using the poles to really uh, brace yourself going down. Um, I think I'll be extending my poles out quite a bit to uh, kind of take, be able to uh, break myself as I'm going down. So, but as you can see, we stopped in a nice little area here. This trail uh, does pretty much shoot straight up the mountain. Um, and then once we get over this ridge here, I think it flattens out as it meets the uh, Tuscarora, and then we'll have a, a final push up to the uh, to the overlook. Well, we finally uh, made it to the top of this ridge here. So we're kind of um, we came from uh, a trail down here. <clears throat> 
sign there. We're going to be following the Tuscarora for a while, which goes in this direction. Um, believe, it that, believe it or not, all of that, and all we did was cover a mile. Um, definitely takes a lot more time when, uh, when you're hiking on snow-covered trails. So we got maybe another mile and a quarter um, to go until we hit the, uh, to the overlook. But uh, it is a beautiful day out. Couldn't ask for better weather. So we're good. Taking another break to uh, cool down. Um, we finished climb. I mean, we passed through the uh, the nice level stuff. We're beginning another ascent, um, and uh, it's important to take. Like I said earlier, it's important to take breaks as you go to kind of cool down, get your temperature down, so you don't sweat. So, or try not to sweat. It's almost impossible not to, but. <clears throat> So we'll wait here for a couple minutes and then uh, um, continue our climb. Pretty nice spot to break. Take a break though. Well, we made it to the top of the mountain. Getting pretty close to the overlook. Um, if we fell in it, temperature definitely cooled off just as we were coming over the the rim of the the very top of the mountain. So we'll make our way down to the overlook and uh, check it out. Well, we finally made it to the uh, to the overlook. Uh, pretty cool view. I'll uh, flip the camera in here and uh, and let you guys see what it looks like. By the looks of how much the other one was at uh, uh, Gander Mountain, that was like this. Uh -huh. I'd say probably 50 bucks too. Yeah. yeah. I saw that. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> well, I have a feeling we're going to get plenty of that on the way down. It could be more like skiing than hiking. <laughs> yeah, that, that first part we came up, we end up might going, we'll probably end up going down that on our butts. <laughs> just, just use the poles to kind of steer. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a good idea. So we're coming up on uh, the shelter I was talking about earlier. I'll walk up here and see what the name of it is. Here. 
wagon wheel shelter. Kind of an eagle project. So when it's obviously uh, spent the night here last night because the fire's still kind of going. And there's a privy up the hill. So we're gonna lose our packs here and then uh, um, cook up some lunch. Making out the nice uh, cook set my son got me. It's a GSI. Not sure what model it is, but uh, I like it. It's really nice. I can fit a. Uh, there's a bowl in here. Um, Silverware's in there. My stove and fuel are both in there. Um, and the whole thing's pretty, pretty light. So here's everything I had in my cook kit. Comes with this nice bowl with a little cozy. Nice. Uh, Bamboo fork or spork, and then uh, it's my stove canister, and then it comes the bag. It comes in actually is like a uh, a camp sink, although I rarely I haven't used it for that yet. And then that's a nice pot with the locking handle that uh, comes in handy. So I'm gonna put everything together and start making some lunch. While we're at the uh, shelter, I just wanted to kind of mention something. It's probably a, a good habit to get into that if you're at a shelter that has a log book um, and you happen to hike by it, um, take a few seconds and sign in on the log book. Um, that way if something happens to you, uh, the whoever's looking for you can uh, look through the, the log book and figure out if you've been here or not and kind of base their search off of that. Um, it's also a really good idea to uh, to let somebody know where you're going to be and when you're planning on returning uh, when you do these kind of trips. That way, if something happens, they can they can sound the alarm. So um, sign those logbooks. Getting ready to start our uh, descent down uh, down the mountain here. Taking a few few seconds here to extend our poles a little longer. That way uh, we can kind of use them to break as we go down. Um, going down is kind of tough as it is on nice conditions, but snowy conditions we definitely want to be able to uh, have the little extra stopping power of the poles to uh, keep from sliding down the mountain too fast so kind of going on a easier part of the downhill up until now it's been pretty much a uh, controlled slide and uh, thankfully we have our poles to kind of control the, <laughs> the rate of fall um, although we're coming up to a, a steeper point here I think I'm going to put the camera away for now well we made it down uh, most of the descent we have the uh, probably the deep, the steepest, slickest part ahead of us coming up here. So we're almost back to the uh, the starting point of our uh, of our hike.
didn't fall yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we made it down the uh, the worst of it. We're uh, readjusting, or Christian looks like he's putting away his poles. Yep. I'm going to readjust mine back to uh, where I normally like to keep them because where we have to walk here um, isn't quite as bad um, compared to going up going up that, which is pretty much a sheet of ice. Well, we made it back to the, uh, the trailhead. Um, we got a little walk up the road to get to our car. Um, this morning, the way the road was looking, I didn't trust driving the car down here. Um, so we just kind of parked at the park office and uh, walked down. So uh, until next time, uh, we'll see you guys later.